Okay, when you want to look into the mouth and observe certain things like landmarks or check for the tray, you can put the chair. I would put the chair in any position that is convenient for me to see. But when it comes to making the impression, you need the head to be in a particular position for the maxilla and for the mandible. Essentially, you want the maxilla and the mandible to be parallel to the floor. How do you achieve this? For the maxilla, you're going to raise the patient so that his maxilla is at your elbow level because you're going to be coming around most of the time and using this hand. So it's got to be at the elbow level. If it's way too high, like that, it's going to be a bit difficult for you to do manipulations. If it's way too low, then again when you put pressure, it's your wrist that's going to be working, not your elbows. So you want to put him at a height where his maxilla is around or his head is around the height of your elbow. When you come to the mandible, so you can manipulate it like this. When you come to the mandible, you're going to be standing in front of the patient. Whereas in the maxilla, you're standing at about 11 o'clock position behind the patient. In the mandible, you're going to be standing in front of the patient and if his head is upright, when he opens the mandible, the mandible which was parallel is going to come down like this. So you want to recline the chair a little bit so that the mandible is parallel to the floor. And this is the position which you will make your impression. So this position again, my he is not at my elbow level, so it's a bit difficult for me since I'm tall. I will have to raise the chair a little bit like that. So it's comfortable. I can put pressure, especially when I'm holding the acetic notch area and I need to put pressure. It's better to put pressure not from my wrist but by, from my elbow all the way down. You good?